Now let's have a discussion about measurement of length for very large and small distances. So at that particular moment of time, our way of defining the distances change a bit. So that we have an approximation. We approximate. Approximate. By using appropriate calculations. For example, the distance between interstellar planets. Say this is a planet and this is a star. This is a star. So the distance is very huge. So by conventional, by measuring in kilometers, in meters, we won't be having any success. So we need a different way of measuring. Or if you talk about very small objects, say suppose the intermolecular distances between two atoms, between two atoms. So let's have a discussion. First, let's talk about the large length that is for large distances for large distance in order to measure the distance we use a method called the parallax method P R A L L A X. this is a parallax method now before explaining you to explaining you what is parallax method let's give you a physical example see suppose this is your two eyes this is your two eyes this is your nose and if you put a pencil in front of you if you put a pencil in front of you if you close your eye if you close say suppose for you this is your right eye but let's assume this is your left eye this is your left eye if you close your left eye you will see the pencil in a different position you will see the pencil while you're opening the eyes you see the pencil over here but when you close your left eye you see the pencil in a different position similarly now you open your left eye open your left eye and close your right eye so after you do this you have a new position that is somewhere over here so because of the opening and closing of the two eyes you see the pencil into two different positions now this particular this particular way of measuring can be used this particular method can be used by observing a planet by observing a planet from two different places on earth if say suppose I am observing a planet from over here because it is in a very huge distance say this is my observation this is my first observation now I go to a different place and I observe similarly if I observing with my left eye I am observing the planet over here if I am observing with my right eye I am observing the planet over here so what happens is a triangle can be formed a triangle can be formed whose angle is theta now let me explain to you a property of triangle if the if this angle is very less if this angle is very less see suppose you have a huge circle you suppose you have a huge circle and you have a very small angle this is theta radius is very huge radius is very huge and you have a very small angle theta so this is your arc this length is your arc l is your arc so what can we say is that this theta tends to almost tends to zero almost tends to zero at that particular point this particular arc becomes your becomes a straight line for huge distances the curve will slowly and slowly become a straight line for huge distances and for a very small angle if your radius r is very big if your radius r is very big so if you keep on decreasing the angle if you keep on decreasing the angle you will see that it somehow gives you a straight line so if this gives you a straight line you know if this is your r 
if this is your r and this is your l so r is given by l by theta r is given by l by theta so by using this property we can have a idea as to how at what distance is our, the star situated how say suppose let this be your d let this be d and let the distance between point a of observation and point b of observation be b small b now we know this is a star it's in it's situated in a very far away position so if you take b upon d that is the distance between the two observations and d you will have a quantity which is very very less than 1 so you have a quantity which is very very less than 1 therefore if d if say suppose if d let the diameter of earth let the diameter of earth be equal to d this is small d is the diameter of your earth so now we have to determine d so let's see how can we determine so we have taken d as diameter of earth diameter of earth we have b as the distance between two points of observation two points of observe observation observation now d is the distance of planet our diagram was of this sort this this is b this is a this is b and this is d and this is d and this is theta so till now this is what we know i have assumed d to be the diameter of earth now let's say alpha this alpha is the ratio of the diameter of the earth to the distance of the planet to the distance of the planet now this can be measured this can be measured from the same location from earth now now what is this length what is this length it, now this length is nothing this length is not nothing but it is the angle what is this it is the angle between it is the angle between the two directions two directions it is the angle between the two directions when two diametrically when two when two diametrically opposite points opposite points of the planet are viewed through the telescope through the so what does this particular statement mean now in your ncert book this statement has been given now this alpha it is the angle between the two direction when two diametrically opposite points of the planet are viewed through the telescope so if this is your earth and you are measuring this particular planet so if you go to the opposite diameter so if you are measuring this and if you are measuring this so this is your d this is your d so d is your diameter so now if you are taking d upon d this is d sorry this is d upon d that is diameter of the planet to the distance to the distance of the planet then you will have initially we had the angle theta initially we had the angle theta so this is nothing but theta in my 
this case so if you are measuring by staying in the two opposite diameters but right? say suppose you are staying in the opposite diameters and this is your two reference point a and b so the angle alpha is this is theta in our previous case so in this way in this way you can calculate the distance d in this way you can calculate the distance d how you know the distance d that is you know the diameter of earth you know the diameter of earth so we know that theta is very strong very small so the theta is very strong or alpha is very small but we know the angle alpha we know the angle alpha so if we know the angle alpha then we can easily measure this distance therefore d is equal to diameter upon alpha and this will give me our answer